Welcome to the Greek islands. This is the Cycladis, which include islands like Mykonos, Santorini, and others that are not that known, like the one I'm here right now, which is Naxos. I'm gonna tell you all about how to travel all around these islands in this video right here. So, let's get it started. My name is Fonsi, and I've been backpacking the world for more than three years. After having traveled here for two times, I can tell you Greece is actually an affordable country to explore and if you know how, even traveling across the Greek islands can be done on a budget. Now I'm here in a boat right now going from uh, Eos to Naxos which is an incredible island here in the Greek islands. I'm in the middle of this incredible trip. This is my second time traveling the Greek islands and I'm going to tell you now how to do it. So first, you need to move around by ferries, that's the best option of course. And you know, you can have, there's so many websites but in my opinion ferries.gr has the best deals. Traveling from one island to another is just so easy. You just have to book your ferry and you know, you can, you can actually do it the day before but if you are in high season I recommend you to do it uh, sometime in advance. Most of the trips will start in the city of Athens. From there my recommendation is to take a plane from Athens to either Santorini or Mykonos or you can take the 6 hour ferry from Athens to Mykonos. Once you are in the islands, you can choose different combinations in your itinerary but my recommendation is not to go, for example, from Mykonos to Santorini which would be around 60-70 euros for the ferry but to explore the islands in between. What we did is we took the ferry from Santorini to Eos then Naxos and finally Mykonos. Now I'm going to talk about food. We've been eating during these Greek trips islands so well. You know Greek food is just amazing and traveling across the Cyclades we've realized that you know food it's just actually pretty affordable. So if you're on a budget and you want to save some money with food definitely consider um, here to try some of these really nice fast food they have here one of my favorites and the one that we've been feasting on all our trips it's called uh, Giros so we made it to this restaurant it's actually a pretty affordable restaurant right and we're gonna try to see how uh, this food um, tastes like it looks amazing, right? Yeah, it just looks amazing. It's it's what the street food has actually. So yeah. Yes, it's Greek street food. It looks incredible. A uh, chicken stick, which is pretty simple. And this is yeah. the start of the show. Yeah, one of the most traditional food here that is called gyros. Gyros, and it has all these vegetables, tomato, salad. It's very fresh as everything in the Greek. Yeah. Greek food. It's kind of a thing, but you know, it's kind of a kebab, yeah. yeah. And well, we're gonna see how much was the. Uh, it was total? just 14 and 17, including the water and everything, so it was pretty, pretty cheap. Five euros each, so. <laughs> At the beginning, we, we started just having Giros, which is this incredible street food, and we, you know, we, we feasted on like these Giros all day, but. If you're here in Greece, you have to try some of the some of the some of the special and uh, you know local dishes. Definitely ask a local and go for a restaurant, even if it's just you know one once in a while. Go for go to a to a good local cuisine restaurant. In terms of where to stay, depending on your budget, you can actually decide from you know, really, really, really cheap accommodations to very expensive ones. We stayed on a boutique style hotel, which is the typical kind of hotels here in the islands, in 
Santorini for around 120 euros a night for three people. It's pretty affordable for what you can find in Santorini actually and it has these incredible views of the city of Pira and the whole island of Santorini so it's just an amazing place with incredible views. I think the price was around uh, 40 euros if I'm not uh, wrong for person. We are three people here. This place has actually uh, an incredible pool which you can see right here. It's obviously not the best for you know travelers who are in a budget. You can definitely choose way cheaper options like hostels for around 15 euros a night and in some islands you can even choose one of these campings like the far out camping that we went to in the island of Eos. Behind me it's Far Out Beach Club which is actually where I'm staying and it's basically this kind of beach club type resort and it has really affordable accommodation as well as villas. I'm staying in one of the camping, uh, in kind of like the camping side of the, of, the, of the resort and it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool, you know, to stay in a, in a place like that. It's so much fun. I just love places where you can meet people from all around the world, have a great time. The price of staying in the far out camping beach resort it's only 9 euros a night. And yes, Greece is actually not that expensive, so you won't really be expend spending that much money if you don't want to. Of course you can do it on a on a more upscale way, but if you're going on a budget you have options for sure. You know you have hostels, you have you know uh, pretty much everything you can imagine. And uh, I would say, even if you do it, you know, you can do it on your own or you can do it uh, with your friends. It's going to be so much fun. I'm traveling with my friends right now, but I met solo travelers during this trip and they are having so much fun also here. So yeah, this is my video about the Greek islands. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, give a like. This has been... Uh, such an incredible trip already so i can't wait to share everything about this with you guys and i'll see you guys in the next adventure